Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Now, this will somewhat correlate with the other videos that I've been making so far about the shelter. But at the same time, it has nothing to do with the shelter. This video is about the creek that the shelter is by. dead cat. I don't know why there's a dead cat, but there's a dead cat. That's disturbing. Oh uh, yeah, I'm not gonna leave that. Much more longer. Um, Seems like the lake is a, not lake, uh, seems like the pond's a bit flooded right now. A bit flooded. The dock's usually a bit higher than that. Again, this isn't my house over there. But, yeah, this video is about the creek. I don't know why the dogs are following me, but as you can see, I have hot dogs. And you'll see what these hot dogs are about later. I don't think it's going to take that long. Snakes, beavers, fish, frogs. Good ecosystem on the left. I haven't been down to the creek in about three months. The creek didn't look like this about three years ago. Most of these trees were either cut or they were knocked down during the hurricane. That's how my trap is still here. My bucket that I left here last time is still here. Gathered up some water though. Uh, I don't know where I left the traps. But I did leave them somewhere. I did connect it to something. These traps are probably farther down, but I don't know for sure.
but yeah. Been so long, I forgot where the traps are. Look at those fish. Now, these traps aren't for the fish, they're for the crawfish. Crayfish, crawfish, crawdads. Multiple different names. Hey. Uh, I guess I lost the traps. Take a little bit of time to find them. I can't go too far because then I'll get the cops called on me because the dogs are with me. Go back. Wait, go. Go. Go back. Go. Go. Can't have y'all following me. I won't hit him. I'll just throw the stick at him. I just can't have them follow me. Get. Come on. Yeah. Creek's usually a bit higher, but since it's fall, not much water can get through because of the leaves. Oh, shoot. Shoot, shoot. Hoi! Yeah, hot dogs are in the camera. I wish I knew where my traps are, but sadly, they're lost. For now, at least. I have to put the phone down somewhere so I can find it. I do know that I have one trap that I left out of the water. So let's see if that trap is still over here. Either way, I still have to find all three traps for next season. Oh, 
Ah, there it is. Uh, as long as I can have one trap baited up, I should be good, at least. So, let's put some bait in this trap. Hi dog is good crawfish bait and that's what I need. I need crawfish. Crawfish is a good source of protein. All you gotta do is purify water and pack up. And then boil them. So this trap doesn't have anything to hold it in place. So I do need to get a piece of stick. Or two. I can honestly get a live piece of stick. That way I can tie it. Live sticks are usually a bit more bendable. Been, been. All right, so stick through, tie. We're doing it with one hand. That did not work. Place the phone down. To get a different material. I well, got it tied up the best I could. I'm not trying to get any fish, but fish will go inside that hole. Start eating the pipe out of the bait. But I'm just going for crawfish. I do believe that one of my traps are in this pocket right there. Only way to tell is by looking for it. One of my traps have a flotation device attached to it. And it's a metal trap. So if I can find the flotation device somewhere. I can hopefully find my trap. There it is. And I think the dogs ate my hot dog. Yep. Trap. Well, I know for sure that there ain't gonna be nothing in it, but. Hey, put. Rosie! 
Put down my hot dog. Bad. Just bait the trap. This is a minnow trap, so it might just attract fish. But crawfish can still go in it. And stuff. As long as that's... Ow. Stabbed myself. All right. Now, I don't really like these metal traps because the rope and stuff in the metal erodes. And this trap smells bad. I can't really help the smell. And these hooks right here, they erode too. So it's not the best trap. You gotta try to keep it tight. If you don't keep it tight, you won't be able to catch anything. Let's get out of here. And let's put the bait in. Yeah, that should work. I found this on the creek. So I just attached it to here so I won't lose the trap. It's dirty. And it's getting my hands dirty. But yeah. I know what my last trap is. It's just the problem is I, I can't get to it because I, the dogs are with me. It's on the other side of that house. Over that way. And these dogs are going to follow me over there and get the cops called on me. I don't know why they hate my dog so much. My dogs don't bother them. Shoot, the last time I tied to them, they threatened to call the cops. They said that I'm only allowed in the creek, which makes sense. And that if my dogs follow me, they're going to either shoot them or call the cops. And it's not my fault if the dogs follow me. Because I can't really get them inside. But, even though I can't do anything about it, I can at least try to prevent the dogs from following me by letting them go on their own little detours away from me. So, if they try to follow me, I just stay in one spot for a little bit. Let them walk around away from me until I lose sight of them and they lose sight of me. They know how to get back home. And then I don't, she's not even allowed to be back here. It's just that she comes for some reason. She's pregnant right now. No. Can't try, I can't get him to stop following me. Let's try to find the coffee. If I had to take a guess, I'd say that they're home. Yep, they're home. Well, time to get the cops called. Oh, there's one. It's a baby. I mean, 
if I can pick it up. Uh, zoom in on that little guy. Where'd he go? Um, I would try to pick up this rock. Picking it up without dust and silt is most impossible. There's one. Look at that little guy. Not old enough to get picked up yet, but. I like hiding in the leaf debris. That's why their eggs hatch right before fall. So that they can get climated and eventually hide in the leaf litter. Oh, there's one. All right, let me do it. Boom, got him. Nah, -uh -uh. gotta take you home. Let's see. Female. No, that's male. Can't really. So, these little, these little legs right here, if I can get a better look at them. Jesus Christ, stop moving. I don't want to get pinched by you. And I know that you don't want to get ate by me. But if I can get a nice good look at you, I can educate people. So I'm gonna find a way how to set my phone up without getting my feet knocked into the water. So, I don't know if you can see it or not, but these little legs right here, not the ones that are in the way, get out the way. Move out of the way. These little guys right here that I'm pointing at right now. Right? Those little guys, if, they don't, if they're small, Unlike this one, it's a female. If they're bigger, like this, it's a male. Same goes for any type of crustacean. So these little legs, can't really get, get a good focus angle. But yeah, those little legs right there, that's how you tell if it's a male or female. Now, let's do a job test. And it grabs. And it broke this part of the stick before it broke that part. So yeah, that's the pincher claw. Right there. And this is the shredded claw. This one grabs and shreds meat. 
And this one grabs and breaks me. I would say that they use this one a bit more for decayed animals. As you can clearly see, it broke the stick. That's a pretty hard stick too, though. Yeah, I'm going to put this dude in the bucket. And it might honestly be fishing the traps by now, so I can check that too. Disgusting old water. No one likes it. Let's go for some cleaner water. Okay. So, go ahead and put you in there. Oh shoot, it's a brim. I didn't expect to get a big fish. As you can clearly see it's flopping around in there. Now, I haven't actually cleaned a brim because I only go, because I usually only keep bass. Hey buddy, let me try to grab you. Look, it's a pretty nice side fish. You know? I might have to end the video off right here. So, have a good day. Make sure to like the video and comment what you want to see next. Goodbye and have a good day.